So I love doing this with and for Erica. I'm going to ask her spontaneously a question, and I'm going to ask her to describe it in three words spontaneously, and then if she wants to expand it, we can do it. So ready? Here it goes. Here's your question. Three words that will make my demo reel stand out better. Ah, three words. You. I need to see you, not the other people. Short. Mm -hmm. Great quality. All right. See, that's really interesting. Now, let's expand that, that okay. a little bit. What, is, what are the qualities of a good uh, demo reader? Okay, so you, I want to see your face first and foremost when that demo reel starts or when that scene starts. If you're having a scene opposite, say, Morgan Freeman, and it starts on Morgan Freeman's face and then goes to you, I'm going to think twice about whose demo reel it is. Like, literally, it needs to be your face first. And that means that the context of the scene might be jumbled. And I don't really care, honestly, about the context of the scene. I want um, to not have the whole history of your character or the whole history of what's happened before so I understand the scene. I just want to see you listening, you being the character, and... And, you know, having fun, really, that's, that's, you know, and having fun, I mean, it could be a dramatic scene, it could be a bad guy, it could be whatever, but just see you performing your craft at, at a high level. Nice. And, and that goes into the production value, too, because there are, you know, some very sloppy scenes, and you've heard of the actors who put themselves on tape in their garage doing, you know, a theatrical monologue, and that's not helping um, at all. It's really good to have professional quality, even if it is a short film, even if it's a student film, if it's a 48 hour, I mean, the, the production quality these days is so high in general for a novice or a professional that you can get footage on yourself from many, many different sources. So you don't even have to go, you know, with your iPhone in your garage and start talking. And definitely no, for me, film and television and commercials, no scenes from theater. Um, oh, a lot of people do cameras oh. way in the back of the theater and have the whole stage. and Or if you're a high school student in the whole stage, like that's not necessary. It doesn't help. So put it in a simple setting if you're doing it yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and if, I mean, if you're doing it yourself, I would say just write your own thing and direct your own thing and have actually a crew. Like and make yeah. it professional. Have yeah. coverage so you can cut into a scene, not just, yeah. you know. And... The other thing people do, actually, if, if there's no demo reel at all available, if they don't have enough, sometimes they have done a very good audition, and with the proper permissions, they are able to use that audition as a sample of their work, nice. and that's always nice, too. Right. And again, that audition has to be in wonderful, you know, it has to have really high production value. The, the, the self-tapes of iPhones in showers don't exist anymore. The right. production value yeah. has, has come up. And again, you can really, if you really look around, you can get yourself a unit that really is a, a very good camera and some lighting equipment and good sound, and you can really do this. Or you can get, go in together with somebody else. Teams are really good. This is the state of the art now mm -hmm. if you want to be competitive. So, you, short, and high quality. Yeah, in short, I really don't think any demo reel should be more than two minutes and it's also different now because they're all organized as thumbnails mm -hmm. usually in, in through breakdown services which I use most of the time they're individual and I love the old school demo reel that's typically at the bottom and um, in making that two minutes of your best work the most recent work first mm -hmm. you know most recent can be a somewhat Morpheus term in that uh, that it doesn't have to be literally last week versus two months ago. I'm not going to know the difference. It's just so that somebody, when you walk in the door, they go, oh. Exactly. Know. But, you know, if you were in, say, When Harry Met Sally, and you had a big role in it, and then you've been doing a lot of day player roles on television since then, don't put When Harry Met Sally first on your reel. Put what you've done recently on your reel. And then, and then put it at the end for a little zinger, which is kind of fun, like, oh, I remember, you know, and then, and then, and then out. Not a big, long right. thing, just up. Yeah. yeah, so short. And variety, spice of life, uh, comedy as well as dramatic, mix them or separate them? I, for, for, for demo, that won't, won't apply if they're different yeah. individual icons or um, thumbnails, but I do prefer a drama reel 
for me, and then a comedy reel. I don't like it all mixed up. Um, and a commercial reel should be separate as well. So, you know, in the old days, before computers, when we all started this, when we knew and I started this, that, um, you know, there was a comedy reel, a dramatic reel, and a commercial reel. And I'm still, I guess, hardwired that way. There you go. 